Hello YouTube! You can probably tell what this video is about from the title. This is kind of a different video than I usually make, but I've been wanting to make it really bad for a while now um, because I have suffered from social anxiety my whole life. And when I say suffered, I really kind of do mean that because it affects my daily life in a negative way and it stops me from doing a lot of the things that I want or need to do. So I thought that by making this video and talking about it, maybe I can help some of you guys just by letting you know that you're not the only ones or maybe help you in some other way, I don't know. And maybe you guys can write in the comments about your social anxiety and maybe that'll help me. So I'm just kind of making this video so we can all kind of help each other, I guess. Um, so there's been a, a few situations recently where I've noticed just how bad my social anxiety really is. And I thought I would just share those with you. So maybe this is like a story time video? I don't know. Anyways, the first instance that I'm going to talk about with you is probably, it happened probably about a week or two ago. I was on my break at work. I'm always starving on my break at work because I haven't eaten for hours. And at that point, I'm just like, yes, food. But um, yeah, so I had a bag of chips. And I went into the hallway, there's this little couch area in the hallway, no one was sitting there, I'm like, perfect, okay. So I just open my bag of chips, start eating them, and then all of a sudden, somebody sits across from me. <laughs> and I just had a chip in my mouth, and I'm just like... And my hand was in the chip bag, and I'm just like... And then I just sit there and I can't eat the rest of my chips. And I still had most of the bag left. And I was pretty upset about it. I don't know. There's just something about eating in front of a stranger, especially some loud sort of food like chips. I just can't do it. And you want to know why I can't do it? Because of social anxiety. <sighs> so, I had to starve the rest of my shift. Lovely. Okay, anyways... The next instance, Panera was like catering the day at work, I guess. I don't, I don't know. But anyways, uh, I love Panera. I used to work there, and I absolutely love it. And I really wanted some. And I walked into the break room to get some, and I saw a bunch of boxes laid out that said Panera on them. But then I know that we also have fridges. And I looked over at the boxes, I'm like, should I grab the food from there? And then I looked at the fridges, I'm like, Maybe it's in the fridges, and I'm like, where should I go to get the food? And then all of a sudden, I see all these people sitting in the break room, and they're just staring over, and I'm just like... <laughs> I just walked right out. I just, I can't. I, I don't like people looking at me, and I don't like being confused in front of people, and I just, and I didn't want to eat in front of the people, and I just couldn't do it. <laughs> and I was really mad at myself, because Panera's kind of expensive, and that was free Panera, just for me, but I couldn't eat it, because that's too scary, because people were there. <sighs> so, my work also sells food. <laughs> uh, we have like this little marketplace, it's kind of like a 7-Eleven I don't know if you guys have that where you live, but like a like a gas station little like little marketplace. I don't know, but uh, yeah, we have one of those inside of my work. So I have a few breaks during the day. So uh, my next break that same day when they were serving the Panera, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna buy something from the marketplace. I guess instead of getting free food, I have to be stupid and buy food, and I'm gonna go eat it in my car. <laughs> so I bought a lunchable and some soda. I went out to my car, and I'm like, okay, finally, I'm going to eat, and nobody's going to watch me, and it's going to be perfect. And I was so happy about this. Like, the whole parking lot, there was nobody there. Like, it was nice and dark, because it was already dark outside. And I'm like, okay, I'm all by myself. I'm in the dark. Nobody's going to look at me. This is perfect. So I open up the Lunchable. I start putting the little cheese on the crackers. And <laughs> I'm about to take a bite, and this car drives up parks right across from me and it shines its lights into my face and I'm just sitting there like I'm like are you kidding me like of all the places you could have parked you had to park right across from me and shine your lights and I just like waited for a second and they didn't turn their lights off and I'm just like and I just like kind of turned awkwardly in my seat and just like face this way and I'm just like 
and I just start eating and then their lights were still shining on me for like a whole another like minute or two I'm like <sighs> and I finally just got so annoyed that I turned my car on I turned on my brights and I just flash it at them and I'm like how do you like that <laughs> and I just like keep eating to the side and a minute later they drove away so apparently what I was trying to do worked I annoyed them so they left and then I got to eat my food but yeah <laughs> um Social anxiety, man. I couldn't eat in the break room. I couldn't get free food. It sucks. Oh, and speaking of Panera, back when I worked at Panera, um, a guy that I liked and started dating was working there. And uh, I couldn't eat. Like, anytime I was on my break, I would order, like, a lot of food, and I would start eating it. And then he would walk by, and sometimes he would even sit down in front of me, and then I'd just, like... And then, like, my whole break, he would just stay sitting there, and then I couldn't eat the food. And then my break would be over, and he's like, wow, you didn't eat any of your food. And I just stared at him like, it's your fault. But I didn't say that, of course. But yeah, uh, a lot of times when there's people around, I, I can't eat because of my social anxiety, and it just really, really sucks. I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that. If you can, talk about it in the comments or something. Um, and then there's one more thing that I wanted to talk about. I don't know if these people will be watching this video or not. I kind of doubt it, but I kind of hope that they do for some reason. Um, there's been a few instances lately where there's been guys on the internet. They live in the same town as me. I know of them, like I know who they are, but we've never really talked and I've seen them around and stuff. And like I know them from social media and whatever. And this has happened a few times. There's been a couple guys that have asked me to hang out with them. Like, we'll be having a normal conversation, and it's fine. Like, I'm, I'm not, I'm usually shy in person, but I'm not shy online. Like, when I type, it's fine. So we would just be having a conversation. It would be going great. Then they'd be like, okay, you want to hang out? I'd be like, yeah, we can hang out sometime. And then when it gets to the point where they're actually making plans, they're like, okay, how about this day, and we'll do this. I just don't answer. <laughs> I, I just stop answering. And I feel like that's really, really rude, and I don't do it to be mean. I really don't want to be rude. I actually do intend to hang out with you when I say it, but when it comes to making plans, I just freeze up because I know that when we do hang out, I'm going to be really awkward. I'm going to not talk. I'm, it, you're just not going to have a good time, probably, because I'm, I'm not going to talk to you. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, if... I don't know. I just feel really bad <laughs> for those people, and if they're watching this, I hope this helps in some way, knowing that I'm not trying to be mean. I do intend to hang out with you, I just don't think you're going to like me. And this is also because of social anxiety. So, yeah. It's great. Great stuff. Great stuff. So, uh, yeah, if you can relate, uh, and if you have any, like, specific stories of, like, how social anxiety gets in the way of your everyday life. Leave those in the comments. I'd like to know and I hope this helped you in some way. I hope you guys helped me in some way. I hope this video just helps people, you know? That's that's all I'm trying to do. All right. Bye guys.